President Joe Biden decided to do something great by aligning himself with organizing workers and unions during a recent speech that he gave to North America's Building Trades Union. But later, Jen Psaki decided to weirdly walk it back. But before we get to her statement, why don't we take a look at a snippet of Joe Biden's speech? That's what unions are about, in my view, about providing dignity and respect for people who bust their neck. That's why I created the White House Task Force on Worker Organization and Empowerment, to make sure the choice to join a union belongs to workers alone. And by the way, <laughs> by the way, Amazon, here we come. What I particularly enjoyed about that video was like the snazzy like mobster pinstripe suit where he's like threatening Amazon. Like Amazon, yeah. here we come. I'm like, I'm here for that Biden. Let's see more of that. Yeah, <laughs> right? well, it reminded me of the famous line from the Hoffa movie that Jack Nicholson, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> okay, uh, now. You know they're gonna ruin it because they're Democrats. Oh my God! You're that was so really right. good. That You're was so right. really good. So tell them how they ruined it. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, let's go to Jen Psaki, who gets asked a question from a reporter. I think it's important to listen to the framing from the reporter as well. Uh, let's watch. President Biden today told union members, "Amazon, here we come." Was he endorsing the efforts of union of, of workers to unionize Amazon facilities? What what he was not doing is sending a message that he or the U.S. government would be directly involved in any of these efforts or take any direct action. Except the National Labor Relations Board does just that. It's a federal agency that deals with these issues. Uh, what he was conveying uh, is that uh, is his longtime support for collective bargaining, uh, for the rights of work and workers to organize, uh, and their decision to do exactly that in this case. I don't, I don't know why she did that. It's well, I do. I, yeah, I, I apologize. Know. <laughs> I know exactly why she did that, but understand that supporting efforts to unionize is a popular stance to have as a politician. But the thing that makes that kind of support, that kind of encouragement a little complicated is if you rely on campaign donations from corporations like Amazon. And it turns out that a former Obama administration official, Jay Carney, is now an executive over at Amazon and he no like that. He no like that at all. So let me give you the details on what happened. So um, Oliver Knox, who notably is a Washington Post journalist, Washington Post owned by Jeff Bezos says, uh, watch, your in, watch your inbox, White House Chief of Staff. So that's a statement to Ron Klain. For those not in on this, senior Amazon executive Jay Carney, who was Biden's communications director for a spell in the Obama administration, has reportedly been emailing Ron Klain with complaints. Oh, is he? Strongly worded letters, but here's the and problem. And of course it worked. It worked, exactly, that's the problem. But I should also note that Biden received quite a bit of money in the form of campaign contributions from Silicon Valley corporations, including Alphabet, Google, of course, contributed around $21 million to Democrats in 2020, with Amazon contributing around $9.4 million. Then you've got Facebook, Microsoft, and Apple, which contributed $6 million, $12.7 million, and $6.6 .6 million to Democrats, respectively. The majority, though, of each of the big tech firms' contributions went to Democratic candidates candidates and excluding Microsoft, the Biden campaign was the top recipient. So not only do you have one of your bros, Jay Carney, working over at Amazon telling you to stop it, you also have that campaign money that's probably being used, you know, as a way to like it's it's leverage essentially to ensure that Biden remembers what his role really is, which is to look out for the corporations. 100%. So um so I actually think the, the re question from the reporter was perfectly good. Uh, hey, does Biden was support? It? I think so. He said, does Biden support the efforts to unionize Amazon? Okay, can we cue the first video up again? Because listen, I don't think that any question is off limits. Reporters are free to ask whatever question they want. But 
I, I just feel like he asked, it's so obvious. No, it's no, obvious no. what Biden was saying in the video. Yeah, he is supportive of the effort to unionize. No, but apparently not though. So no, 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 hold on. So he asked it in kind of a snarky way. So I know what you're saying, right? It, like, is it true that you're actually supporting unionizing? You sons of bitches, yeah, right? That's I, how, get that's I get it, I get That's how it came across, yes. I, I get that that's how it came across, so we don't have to replay it. But apparently it was a good question because he might have known, Oh, there's. it, it doesn't matter why he asked God it. God damn a, it, maybe you're right. It's a good question because it should have been a layup, right? It should. Yeah, it was a right. softball right. in a sense. And Saki says, yeah, of course we support. Uh, the unionization's efforts at Amazon and everywhere else. We're pro union, we're pro American worker. It's the easiest answer in the world. Layup. Easiest, nothing hard about it at all. No, she. it sounded like she was waiting for that question so that she could say, well, no, blah, 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 not exactly, okay? <laughs> and so, no, there was no ands, ifs, or buts about that answer. That answer was, no, we were lying to you, we're Democrats. We just talk, blah, 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 blah. we never take any action. In fact, we'll do the opposite, right? Yeah. So why don't all of you in the press give us credit for Biden's tough speech being pro labor, pro American worker. And then, but if you're asking me what we're really gonna do, of course we're not gonna support the average American worker. They didn't donate $6 million to us. These incredibly wealthy executives did. So we're gonna serve them and Jake Hardy's our friend, our friend. Friend. Okay, so I'm gonna give a tip to anyone who's actually interested in doing reporting, real reporting, breaking a news story. Um, there should be a freedom of information request into Ron Klain's emails coming directly from Jay Carney over at Amazon. Yeah. I wanna know the details. Yeah. I want, because one other thing that I wanna, I already mentioned this during the Saki video, but I wanna reiterate and emphasize. The federal government does weigh in on these issues. That's what the National Labor Relations Board is all about. In fact, it's because of the NLRB that the Bessemer, Alabama warehouse workers were able to hold another, a second unionization vote because the NLRB had determined that Amazon had interfered with their first election, right? Mm -hmm. And so like, She's like, no, 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 don't worry, don't worry, the federal government's not gonna get involved. Federal government's not gonna get involved. Yeah. But they have, and that's a good thing. And you should be celebrating and more importantly, bragging about it. But again, they have, they're tied up, right? They're tied up because yeah. they gotta do right by their corporate donors and their homeboy, Jay Carney. Yeah, no, I'm gonna double down on, on the things that you said because I, she makes it sound like the federal government taking action on behalf of the American worker is a bad thing. Why would you paint that as a bad thing? Yes, the government is supposed to help the average American. That's what it's supposed to do. It's not supposed to help your corporate executive friends, Jen Psaki. I know MSNBC right now is like, oh, Jen Psaki, she's so good the way she crushes the average American worker. We love it. We're the left leading channel. Right on brand. Okay, yeah, yeah it's very on brand for MSNBC. Okay, so, um, and, and to your point about the emails, uh, and by the way, just if you when you paint the federal government as bad and them helping workers as even worse, that's a Republican talking point. You, you, and then you wonder why Biden's losing to Trump in polling now by six points. Kamala Harris losing by eleven points, and their 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 polling is off a cliff because they do dumb things like, "Well, I mean, the Republicans are so right that workers should be crushed," right? And they don't even say the Republicans are right. Which then leaves you with a feeling that the Democrats are the ones crushing the workers, and in this case, they are. And to your point about Jay Carney and the emails, I want to see all the emails, the ones that went to the government email address, and the ones that didn't go to the government email address. Because what did Jay Carney say? Did he just make an ideological, philosophical point? My ass, he did. Okay, no, it was either, hey, hey, what are you guys doing? We're all friends here. Remember, I'll get you a job afterwards. Now, is Carney smart enough to not write that down? Of course, right? So we don't. But know but we but it'll be hints and. Winks and nods and etc. Remember how I used to be in your role. Now he wasn't chief of staff, but he was White House spokesperson. And 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 then I got millions and millions and millions of dollars, not in campaign contributions, but that I put directly into my pocket. And if you want to get rich, you support Amazon and not the goddamn workers. And that's Jay Carney, that's the Democratic Party. And obviously it worked. Because that's why Jen Psaki came out here and said, We're so sorry. Forever slightly questioning corporate rule. 
We will obey our masters and make sure that we never stray from corporate rule. By the way, you saw those campaign contributions, they largely went to Democrats. I wanted the Democrats to win because they were running against fascists like Donald Trump, not hard to understand. Having said that, all of those contributions should be banned. They're totally unacceptable. I don't care if a corporation is giving to Democrats or Republicans. If a company is giving to a politician, it is a bribe, okay? So you, it's legal, it's legal, but it's a bribe. They're not doing it for their health, and they're not like us. They actually care about principles and philosophy and ideology. If, if, if it was, like, you know what, you could even say for some of the radical right wingers that they're mainly heirs and they're just sitting on their fat asses, living off of grandpa's money, maybe it is ideological, okay? But for the corporations, public corporations that are behemoths, they're not allowed to have an opinion. They're strictly buying votes. And yes, if you're a Democratic voter who got brainwashed by MSNBC and CNN, when a corporation gives a bribe to a Republican, it's bad, you agree, right? When they give a bribe to a Democrat, it's also bad. I know MSNBC convinced you that Democrats are angels and they take the bribes and buy ice cream with it for the poor and then do the right thing, but it's not true. They do things like this where they go, just kidding, we're gonna screw over all the workers for our friends who are the executives. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.